And now let's move on and get your special series here. In a country where per capita consumption of water is pegged at 135 litres per day, one can only imagine here the amount of stress on our groundwater resources. Erratic rain and climate change keeps these water mines from charging fully, but Abaya Bamasaji is busy implementing methods that can ensure zero water shortage, and this is how. Less than 3% of world's water is fresh. The rest is sea water. 2.5% of that 3% is frozen. The entire humanity is dependent on 0.5% of fresh water. Majority of that fresh water is stored in underground aquifers. But our growing demands and low rainfall are running these water mines dry. This caused a stream of water troubles for companies like Karnataka Antibiotics and Pharmaceuticals Limited in Bangalore until they employed the help of Ayappa Masagi. We require a lot of water for our processes, maybe to the extent of about a lack of litre a day. So, in fact, initially we source this particular water through, you know, uh, borewells. Uh, due to the in increased industrial activity over this area, the borewells started slowly getting dry. So, in fact, we were forced to buy water from outside through tankers, etc. What's changed in terms of functioning, in terms of access to water? As against the normal uh, availability of water at the depth of, say, 600, 700 feet, we could see water at, you know, about uh, 169, 170 feet. Second thing is, of course, our sourcing of water from outside tankers are reduced by and large. What makes Masagi's approach unique is the fact that unlike current rainwater harvesting techniques that concentrate on collection and storage, his methods recharge the groundwater first with filtered rainwater, equipping us with a system for zero water shortage. Catch the complete story this weekend on Dupont Presents The Power of Shunya Quest for Zero.